matter of fact, Doctor, I just got another letter from my husband this morning. Just this morning, before I went to work. Mm hmm? Free, then. Deep breath. War is a hell of a thing. You can read out. They should end all damn wars. Sherman said that in the Civil War. He said, war is hell. Ouch. Sorry. It's okay. Pressed a little too hard. Yeah. Yes, we, we love each other very much. He's never out of my thoughts. Dale, Mr. Braddock has brought up a point here that maybe we should get uh, started. Oh, we've been rolling them along. You know. I know, but it is getting late. Not my fault. Watching. You can see the way they're lighting. It's very specific. It's position one for the Vitamite, position two for the bowl. It's backwards. We moved the bowl in place. We got, what am I supposed to do? Yes. We wave all of that. I know we have a large set. But we have these very big lights that we have. I do understand. I do. I do. I see this point. We have a problem here. Marty. Marty. Herbie is here. Herbie. Herbie, the guy that got out of the draft. Where? He's over there. With the raisin? No, the vitamite by the bowl. The one with the bite out of the corner? Yeah, that's Herbie. Was he 1A? Yeah, uh, oh, I think so, but he got reclassified. Oh, right, check on him. We'll oh, come out. on, talk to him. I'll talk to him, sure. I have, I have 30 days to appeal. Oh, Daryl, I'm bothered about the fox's color. The color seems wrong. It's a little too brown. That's it. That's what I think. It's a little too brown. Mm -hmm. Well, I think when the when the right light is on it, I think you'll see it's the right shade of brown. I, well, I hope so, Dell, because uh, Mr. Braddock is rightly concerned. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Uh, Dave, hit the DC one. Can you see? Yes, well, that, that's, that's one. Uh, oh, I think, I think it'll be fine. Smart, so beginning. Oh, thank you. Mr. Braddock, would you like to meet a raisin or a... Uh, Keep that key light full up. No, thanks. No, thanks. I would just like to see this. Dell, this is Herbie. Herbie Dell. Hello, Herbie. Gee, that's really rough, the reclassification and that. That's bad, you know. <laughs> the thing is, man, that I was in sort of the same predicament, except that I was married and my old lady was going to have a baby. So I told the draft board and they reclassified me 3A, something about being a father. But you didn't have to go. Yeah, you want to listen. I was reclassified 3A because I was going to be a father. Anyhow, when Kay told me, I thought I'd pass along to you. I might give you some ideas. Yeah, thank you, Herbie. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, thank you. Listen, if you hear of anything, acting or films, give me a call. Huh? Herbie Gatz, G-A-T-Z, Gatz. Kay knows the number. Yeah, good. Listen, thank you very much. Yeah, well, that's what people are for, you know, do favors, pass on information. Thank you, Herbie. I've got 30 days. Yo, Dell, the uh, director's ready for the raisins, the Vitamites. We'll talk about it later tonight. All right. All right, all the raisins and Vitamites in the, in the bowl. Why am I rejected? Why am I rejected? Because I'm not robust. Only the plumpest of sun ripened raisins are good enough for Vitamite. Why am I rejected? Why am I rejected? When exactly are you having your baby, Jenny? Well, if everything goes according to schedule in about three months. Isn't that something? Uh, yeah. Cheese. A very zen thing. Yeah, I like it. Especially now with the baby coming. Just can't stand the taste of coffee anymore. Have you ever heard of Charles Tuttle? Is he... Does he make movies? No, no, he's a... He, he was a publisher. Oh. And uh, he became very interested in things oriental. And he started publishing books that were translations from the Japanese. And he has a beautiful book on tea. You have very penetrating eyes. It's, it's a lovely book. I'd like to give you a copy. Oh, that'd be nice. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm always doing clumsy things. No, that's right. Let me just get this. No, I'll get something. You shouldn't be jumping up and down. How tall are you? About 6'2". That's funny. You look even taller when you stand up. You know, you don't have to worry about it. Tea doesn't stain. Or is it coffee? Can I help you? No, no, it's all right. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting you the book. It's a beautiful little book. Yeah. It's so delicate. What kind of paper is that? It's rice paper. It's made out of rice. Rice? Yeah. The Japanese eat a lot of rice. The Indians, too. Indians eat a lot of rice. Yeah, but so do the Chinese. A lot of people do. A lot of people eat rice instead of bread. <laughs> Can you imagine making paper out of bread? It'd be like writing on a sandwich. <laughs> You're a very sympathetic person, Jenny. I get very good vibrations from you. What's your sign? What's my what? <laughs> your sign. You know, you're... Astrological oh, sign. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> I was born August 15th. That's a Leo. Yeah. Stupid of me to remind you of that. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's, that's okay. You know, I, I can't seem to get that image out of my head. What image? Falling 35 floors and still holding onto the camera. You have a very pretty wife. In her condition, you should take buses. <laughs> <laughs> 